Hello Aquarius and a very warm welcome to your August forecast. It's a powerful month this month because we've got a lunar eclipse happening in your sign and a solar eclipse later in the month as well as Mercury, the planet that rules transportation, travel, communications, technology, going retrograde from the middle of the month until September 6th. So what's it all going to mean for you, my lovely Aquarians? On the 7th of the month, here it is, the lunar eclipse happening in Aquarius, in your first house. Now, <clears throat> lunar eclipses often trigger things that you haven't been so satisfied with in order to give you an opportunity to make some changes. You're a fixed sign, so sometimes you uh, don't like to uh, have lots and lots of change in your life. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. You're variable. But this here, this lunar eclipse in your sign, is a wonderful opportunity for you to turn the tables and really create more of the things that you want in your life because it's in your first house. So it's everything to do with you. It could be a, a total personal transformational time for you, really, because these eclipses are hitting your, yourself and your relationships. So really powerful time to find your identity, what turns you on, how you want to present yourself. And let's make no mistake, uh, eclipses, the energy lasts for at least six months. So we're looking between August and February for many wonderful changes to come from these aspects, these eclipses. So um, you, might want, you might find yourself changing the way you look, doing your hair completely differently, dressing differently, different colours, different way of presenting yourself and really looking at your self-esteem and really learning more and more how to love yourself. That's really what is going to be triggered. The more you can love yourself, respect, appreciate that you have so much power inside of you to manifest and create anything you want. Uranus is your ruler, so you know you can manifest things so quickly when you really want to, Aquarius, as long as you don't get stuck in that fixed energy. So on the 13th of the month, we've got Mercury going retro here until the 6th of September in your 8th house. So it's going to be important to reevaluate everything to do with finances, security, how you spend money, how you save money, other people's resources. You might find yourself being responsible for somebody else's finance, maybe even taking care of somebody financially, contributing to somebody financially. Um, this is just an opportunity really for you to uh, think about ways in which you can improve your financial situation and maybe certain changes that need to be made in order for that to happen. And then on the 21st of the month, whoa, ho, ho, we've got a solar eclipse happening in this seventh house, joining the Sun and Mars. This is wonderful for new relationships, a breath of fresh air coming into your relationships, something new happening, you deciding that, you know, you're brushing off the cobwebs. It might be an ending of a big relationship in order for something new to start. But it's just, uh, it's energizing this house of relationships. Mars is energizing it, the sun is energizing it. You might meet somebody new. You might meet a new business contact that could be really powerful um, and equally it could be a romantic, a love contact and it could also be the renewal of a marriage, the renewal of an existing relationship that can come alive again, especially as you focus on you and your needs with the lunar eclipse in your sign and then looking towards others and how you balance that. It can be very exciting. 
On the 23rd of the month, the sun joining Mercury in this eighth house, again, shining a light and wanting you just to go a little deeper into maybe trust issues. Maybe you've kind of uh, closed your heart a little from past pains uh, and you've not been so open to new people and, new, uh, and getting a little intimate. This gives you an opportunity to maybe look at that a little more and to open yourself. The more open you are, the easier it is to get closer to people. And then on the 27th of the month, whoa, what a wonderful aspect. Venus joining Mars and that solar eclipse energy in the seventh house. This, for those of you looking for it, can bring romance, love, peace to a, a difficult situation, and just more ease in your relationships generally. So that's a beautiful aspect to have towards the end of the month. So I wish you a wonderful August. Thank you for commenting, sharing, subscribing. Bye for now.